Another FBI guy bites the dust and the markets get clobbered late. What's up, everybody? Welcome aboard. It's Bubba's Daily Update. And uh, of course, here we are. Markets get clobbered late uh, today. Uh, Andrew McCabe either gets forced out, steps down. Nobody really knows the story for sure. But at the end of the day, he's out. So another FBI guy goes down the drain. Uh, you know, how many people can be taken down? <laughs> we'll see. There, there promises to be a lot more as we go. But the markets did uh, sell off late. And more than interesting was the way that they opened last night much higher, held that gains partially, then by morning has sold off quite a bit, and now they continue to get pounded, and uh, we're going to see how this all plays out. Uh, that begs the question again, is the top in? And the, our answer will remain the same. It's hard to say right now. With so much news coming out this week, with the Fed on Wednesday, the jobs on Friday, and all those big earnings on Thursday, there's a lot to be told from here. But Apple continues to be under heavy pressure. Uh, so that, that indicates a potential problem. Amazon, which was up over 25 bucks at one time today, did, came back and gave back at least half of those gains. Netflix looks like it's going to the moon. Uh, there's a deal somewhere going on there. You can tell that this is obvious to see. It's a takeover, but I don't know how, you know, I don't know how much they can get, get how much more it can continue to go higher, but we're certainly not going to step in the front of it now. At the end of the day, uh, Bitcoin continues to wobble in between those consolidation ranges. Oil, slightly lower. Gold going down. We think gold is a, was a pretty good sale. We wrote about that for a Kitco this morning, uh, thinking that the, we're going to start to see some pressure here. As we don't expect to see, it, it pushed much higher. Bonds remain under pressure, but they did come back a little bit. But this is where the Fed's going to get trapped. You can bet on it. Rates are going to have to go higher. And, of course, the dollar is going to have to strengthen as well, which you'll see. Because as soon as there comes some fear in the market, there's going to be running to the dollar, which will even make the interest rate magnified even more. And we will see uh, that could be the overall black swan that we've been looking for uh, and that we expect to happen. We'll see how that plays out. But there's a lot of things going on. Of course, the grain markets were much stronger today, as we kept continue to say. We want to be buyers of wheat at 410, 420, 430. Well, now they're close to 450. Look for probably a little bit of a sell off going into the rest of the week. I, I don't you know, again. I'm still a big fan, but I'd like to buy a dip from here now. I don't, I don't see, you know, markets don't go straight up. Well, I guess the equity markets have gone straight up. But no, I, I expect to see a little bit of a pullback in which we'd look to be a buyer. Soybeans continue to now hold above that 985, which is really good. The meats were strong based on a cattle on feed report that was relatively neutral. Uh, I would look for the meats to come back a little bit, but again, looking to be buying. So basically, we're looking to buy the ag complex. I think it looks pretty solid. But the, the bigger picture here is things do not look all that good. Uh, I think they've priced in about as much good news as you can. Now, again, we're not going to tell you to jump in and sell, sell, sell. We're going to say let's watch and evaluate the markets. Again, there are a lot of big earnings this week that are coming out. Facebook on Wednesday, uh, Amazon, uh, Apple, Google, Baba on Thursday, Qualcomm. There's just a ton of stuff coming out with the job. So we're going to have to kind of play it by ear and see where we see we look from here. But at the end of the day, the markets, again, do not look as healthy as they once did. They are now starting to show some weakness as you watch the VIX now power over 13. Now, again, it doesn't sound like a lot, and certainly when you're used to trading a volatility of 20, 13 isn't very much, but 13 is a heck of a long cry from eight and a half. So we're starting to see those little bit of warning signs that will continue to trickle in and give us a better footprint and a better clue of what's gonna happen next in the markets. I think that you look for a stronger dollar. I think interest rates are going to continue to rise. Again, this is in spite of what the Fed is trying to do. I think they're out of manipulation tricks. So look for the rates to rise. Look for that to be the possible black swan. And look for that to have a, a general effect. Not on earnings this quarter because they're already done. But earnings coming into next quarter. This could be the bigger problem. So we're going to continue to watch and, and, and keep an eye on gold going down. And look for the cryptocurrencies to find a bid somewhere in here. I think they're going to start to make a much bigger rally to the upside, especially if the equities start to come under pressure. So that's what we see for today on Bubba's Daily Update. And, and a reminder, highschoolinvesting.com. Go check it out. And, and see if you want to help us out, uh, you go to patreon.com forward slash Bubba Trading. And for all of those who do, 
I'll give you one week free of our Futures Advisory Service, which we had a nice day today already, start the week off. So it's always good to start the week off with the winner. That's patreon.com forward slash Bubba Trading. And in the meantime, don't forget to get the Bubba Show every single day from 4 to 5 Eastern Time at libertytalk.fm. That is it today for Bubba's Daily Update. We'll see you back here tomorrow. Everybody have a great day. Have a great night. And no Monday Night Football, so I guess I'll have to watch TV. Take care, everybody. Have a great night. We'll see you later.